Imagine falling in love with someone just to find out they watch Netflix with subtitles. <sighs> I'm convinced people who don't like subtitles can't read fast. Okay, hear me out on this one. This trick is being way over dramatic about subtitles, but I also can't stand <laughs> subtitles. I don't know, I just, every time I look at it, I, I realize I'm not looking at the video as much as I should be, but I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely on the wrong side on this one. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long and Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash cringetopia. Let's get into it. Scammer made over 500 grand selling 5G repellent lotion online. Okay, I mean... This guy is a bad dude, obviously. He's a scammer. But who is buying this lotion? Who actually saw some article on Facebook and went, oh yeah, that 5G, it's something to be worried about. This lotion will fix it. What? Uh, oh, dude, I, I just, sometimes I can't believe that people fall for this stuff. And then I talk to my grandma. <laughs> Have you seen these people? Description, ambitious young adults with shovels during a snowstorm who are looking to make money by shoveling sidewalks, driveways, etc. Last seen sometime before the invention of Microsoft's Xbox, Sony's PlayStation, and Nintendo Wii's home video consoles. Wow, that's interesting. I have been one of these kids who went out and shoveled for money. And oh, by the way, it wasn't that long ago. So these people still exist. I was literally one of them. It just might not exist as much because people don't want to go out in the cold when there's a whole bunch of choosing beggars that when you knock on the door will go, oh, you should just be doing this for free. Or they say, oh, don't knock on my door. Like, there's just so many reasons that kids don't want to do this nowadays, but that doesn't mean there aren't kids that do it. We're living in the beginning of a mass extinction. Don't friggin' care. Yeah, I would expect that from somebody who's, I don't know, maybe got a hundred days left with us, but for the rest of us who, I don't know, have long lives left to live, yeah, this is probably something we should take pretty seriously. You know, when an overwhelming majority of scientists say, hey, this is a problem, I think the correct response would be, hey, all these smart people said it's a problem. Let's do something about it. Not I don't care. It's not going to be my problem anyways. As if you're not going to have kids or grandkids. And it is going to affect them. Men, if DNA confirms the baby is not yours, it doesn't change the fact you must take responsibility of the baby. Women go through a lot in marriages. And women deserve better. Um, no they don't. Because if they were under the assumption, that's the man of course, that this was their kid, that means... That when you were with them, you were also with somebody else. Therefore, you cheated on them. You don't deserve anything good from them. Like, oh, the, I can't believe the audacity of this chick to go, yeah, I cheated on you. But you know what? You still owe me money and you need to raise this kid with me. No, I don't. It's not my kid. And you're not taking my money. This is healthy. This is also healthy. No, it's not. Guys, please stop saying this stuff is healthy. I get it, body positivity. And I'm trust me, I'm definitely not encouraging others to go, oh, you're ugly and, and I, I don't like that. That's not what it's about. But to just say this is healthy is ridiculous. It, it's clearly not healthy. There's plenty of scientific studies out there that say, oh, being obese isn't healthy. I mean, you could just look at how many people pass every year from obesity and go, oh, that's not healthy. So please, Cosmopolitan, stop pushing this thing that this is healthy. It's not healthy. People can be happy with how they look. I'm not saying that. But please, stop saying this is healthy and encouraging it. Saying goodbye to 2020. Realizing next year is pronounced 2021. And the next year is 2022. Oh, God, we're in a never-ending cycle of the 2020s. What will we do? Oh, but for real, though, this 2020 stuff... I'm kind of over it. <laughs> Can we just not talk about it anymore and move on? All right, I'll do my best. If I mention it again, I'm sorry. I'm straight, but that's incredible. <laughs> Imagine having to say that. Like, you're so insecure that you have to go, oh, 
uh, you know, sunsets, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think I like those. By the way, by the way, I'm, I'm straight, I'm straight. Like, dude, you don't have to give that announcement before you say, oh, this sunset's pretty, this looks gorgeous, whatever. <laughs> you can just post the picture of the sunset and say, that's incredible. I don't think anybody's going to look at you taking that picture saying that's incredible and go, he's not straight. My overprotective mother just told me this lockdown is God's way of telling me I go out too much. Sorry, everybody. This entire thing is my fault for not staying home. My bad. Yeah, you should be sorry. It is your fault. Next time, stay home. Can boys with smooth, clear skin on their face stop saying they're straight? We know you're not. Thanks. Uh, is this true? Because my face is pretty smooth. I'd say my skin is actually super clear. Guys, I think... The closet doors just opened. Just kidding. <laughs> this is completely false. Where do you work out? At the library. Each large muscle of a bodybuilder represents a language he didn't learn, a poem he didn't read, a fun fact he never memorized. These men sit in the changing room closets, on the wood bench, counting and comparing muscles for hours as if it were something to be proud of. Yeah, it is something to be proud of. Just because you can't put in the work it takes to achieve that body that you've always wanted doesn't mean they shouldn't be appreciative of what they've worked for and be proud of it because they definitely should be. I understand you're insecure when you look in the mirror and you go and you look at those guys and you say, oh, I wish I could be that. But instead of just going and working towards it, you go, actually, let's make them feel bad about it so they can look like me. That's not how you should get stuff done. Don't try to bring others down to boost yourself up. Just boost yourself up. Why are grown men in group chats though? That's some female stuff to me. <laughs> Imagine thinking it's female to talk to your friends more than one at a time. Like this has to be satire. There's no way somebody actually thinks this. Could you imagine like, hey, uh, yeah, so I saw you were in a group chat and it looked like it was with some of your buddies from work. All dudes? Yeah, I'm going to have to break this one off. <laughs> like, oh, that's so ridiculous. My mom's been working on this puzzle for a week and it's a thousand pieces. Yeah, that blurred picture in the background is him swiping it off the table right as it's about to be complete. Like, I hope this mom was in on this TikTok trend because these TikTok trends really suck. And I'm just hoping it was fake because if it's not, you are a total POS for doing this. Like it takes hours to complete a thousand piece puzzle. And for you to just go, ha ha, funny, funny, TikTok gift you and just ruin your mom's day for views on a TikTok that honestly don't mean much. Yeah, you're a POS. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot post from r slash I am a total POS. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, my peace.